is posted on top of his head. And look how he's got his left leg under Mike. And this is a really, really tight lapel strap. Okay, so we... work on a really nice variation of what we call the Glan Special. We named this, a lot of people named this after Klaus Glan, who was the 60, I think 64 Olympic medal, 68. He was, he was a, a, a world-class judo player from, from uh, uh, Germany. And he did this move, and we just you know, called it after that. Anyway, this is the Glan Special, but we're going to end up with a, a really nasty finish. Okay, we do a kind of a kick over with the leg on the head. I think you'll like this. So Derek, you want to, you want to teach it from here because you're good at it. You want to show it? So I'm going to start with the lapel and kind of flare it open so I can get a good grip with this hand. Otherwise, if he's flat, a lot of times the, the lapels are hard to get to. I'm just coming over yeah, here. He's going to open the lapel here. So watch how he opens it. So the, the far one I'm opening up and then I'm going to take my other hand and slide it through and under and come up here and catch where I've opened. Mike, can you sit up so so you can see on the camera here? See how, look, everybody come here and look. See how Derek's right arm is under Mike's left arm at the armpit, reaching way under here. And look how he's got his thumb right up along behind Mike's ear. See that? So that's the trap right there. There's the trap. And that's going to be the ultimate strangling mechanism here uh, on Mike. Okay, so you see yeah. that. Okay. So even if he's still flat, I'll let go of the, the lapel I flared as soon as I get my cross grip on it. And you come over to the opposite side and slap and get a, a piece of his jacket. And then you're gonna drive that arm down as you put your foot up. So the foot comes up and props on his hip so that I can facilitate turning him over. I don't wanna just roll over this way because he can run out. So we prop onto his hip with your foot and you just roll over that, that hip. Okay, and here's where it gets a little different from a normal blonde special. So as we're coming through here, right about here, foot comes over, the head, roll over and tripod up onto your head, and then squeeze and you push with your leg that way. Okay, Matt, come on over and take a look at this. Everybody look, see how he's up posted? The finish with Derek here is posted on top of his head. And look how he's got his left leg under Mike. And this is a really, really tight lapel strike. Okay, so we pull in, push opposite direction and kind of crunch. Okay, so again, open, slide through. Hopefully you don't punch in the face like I just did. Okay, drop the elbow, prop. There you go. Now let's look at a few key points here. Matt, you might want to come around here. Come around here everybody because let's let's focus in on Derek's arms and hand movement. So He's got Mike under here. He's, go ahead and get your, get your, let's oh. set, him up here, set him up there. Now he's got this now. Okay, that we've got. Now let's look at this arm here, everybody, because this is key. This elbow has to go straight down and in. A lot of people, when they do it wrong, they push against the head. You don't want to push against the head, you're letting him off the hook. You want the elbow to go down and under him. And that makes the tight, the, the strangle really, really tight, okay? And when he's done that, now notice he's up on this knee, so he's, he's posted there pretty well. With his other leg, he's just going to prop it, just a foot prop on the hip. And the hip's a good point because it's the middle of Mike's body, okay? And when Derek rolls back this way, look how he keeps coming over and watch the leg come over the head, and he just keeps rolling all, all the way, and you got him. He kind of let him off the because you don't want to choke him out real bad there. It's, Mike was already purple. So just take a look at it again. And see how you finish on top of your head with your leg hook because that really makes the choke tight, the, the strangle tight. Don't finish on your shoulder. It's not strong enough. It's like you don't do the head hold you, do you stay on the head? Yes, yeah, yeah, finish on top of your head, post on top of your head to finish. So the, the easiest way to remember this is since I'm coming back over the shoulder, keep your head tucked, keep your chin tucked in. If my head's stuck out here, I'm gonna end up catching my, the side of my face and then I'll be stuck like this, which is not gonna work very well. So just keep in nice and tucked this way. And as you're coming back around, 
this way so you can kind of see. So as I'm coming back around through here, you're rolling over the shoulder and then see how it's like a tripod shoulder head. Okay, so as long as you're using that, that shoulder that you're rolling back over as a, a stability point and you keep your head tucked, you'll come right up on top of it. Okay, and the, the momentum of his weight shifting on the back end helps a lot too. Hooking that leg over behind Mike's head just adds more pressure to the to the strangle. It adds just it just it cranks it out, stretches them out. Kind of going like the, the old lawnmower motion, you know, you're pulling this way and you're shoving down that way. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it really is. One more time and we'll let the guys train. So there you go. Up. Up. There you go. Great finish. Alright? Good to go.